Okay. I've seen this story way too many times in the last couple of days. I figured I'd just weigh in on this one before anyone, <clears throat> you know, doesn't ask. So here we go. Nexus Mods, probably the most prestigious modding community out there, primarily focusing on the what ifs and the how about this and things of that sort when it comes to adding two games. They've been around since time began. With the advent of Starfield coming out, uh, there's been a bit of an uproar about pronouns that's come up. Um, okay, fine. People can complain. The interesting part is Nexus Mod recently had a modder show up uh, uploading a mod that simply removes the prospect of asking pronouns. That was it. They simply did not want to see it for whatever their reasons are, and so they put the mod in the website so that others could in enjoy it, I guess? I don't know. Nexus Mod swiftly deleted that mod and banned the user. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh, there it is. Okay, so they left a quote in the, uh, in the process of uh, removing this person from their site. They said hosting this mod was not for us, and it certainly is within our rights not to host content on our platform. They go on to say it's not a political statement or an alignment of one side or another on a culture war. We stand for diversity and inclusion in our community and the removal of diversity while appealing to many does not promote a positive modding community. And once again, much like everything else, it was split into two sides. One side saying things like too woke and things like that, all that other stuff. And then the other side saying you guys are bigots and all that other stuff. And all of them going back and forth. But all of you that are warring between each other because we have nothing better going on right now, all of you forget one, one important thing. Nexus Mods retains the right to put whatever they want on their own website. If it turns out they did something to upset you, you go somewhere else. Hate to be that guy, but if you don't like their policy on removing that modder, then go somewhere else. It has nothing to do with political statements or anything. They could remove a man because he has green in his banners whenever he advertises for his mods. Doesn't really matter. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. They don't like it, they don't like it. You all are fighting over which pronouns, I don't, I don't care. I don't have a pot to piss in an argument. It doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. However, the idea that Nexus Mods need, needs and you demand they put this mod up is laughable at best. Um, that's the equivalent of me literally drawing whatever the hell I want, whether it's obscene or not, and then slapping it right on your front door of your house. Well, I should be able to, I should be able to put this on, I should be able to put this here. It's my right. Now, it's their website. They don't want to, they don't have to. And if that upsets you, that's when you go somewhere else and give services to someone else or give attention to someone else. Uh, no one took that advice. And Nexus Mods for the following few days after received death threats, uh, spamming of spamming of uh, messages in the Steam reviews of a lot of games, simply just because they did not get to have this modder do this. If the pronoun thing bothers you, fine. It bothers you. If it's in a game and it bothers you that much, maybe you shouldn't be playing the game. If you want to mod something out of a game, then mod something out of a game. You can most certainly still do it. I'm not saying this mod does not exist. It very much so does. And it's very much so been put everywhere else where there are modding communities. However, if one website decides that they simply don't want it, then they don't want it. And now me personally, me thinking, this is a company that literally just said, you know what, let's not, let's not go down this road. And for that reason, very, very anti-political, they said, mm -hmm. Everybody can play, everybody can do this, everybody can be a part of this. You're not going to make a mod that removes something from it. And it could have been that simple. 
but people are chosen are choosing the political route and and much like everything else it ruins it and turns into one big old fight that nobody cares to be around everyone has their opinions everyone has their ideas i get it but this is just a simple method of ensuring that peace is in the lands of nexus mods they aren't after anything else they haven't actively spoke out to anything else and generally they just want to keep peace but if you want to be devil's advocate i might have something here for you and now i'm not going to show it but in nexus mods right now you can uh you can absolutely make a famed uh warlord and an absolute criminal a name that everyone knows well with a very familiar mustache you can make him right now in nexus mods this just comes to show you that some stuff is important one day while some stuff is important another day. Who really knows? Who's to say? But playing devil's advocate, this is just one topic they wanted to run as far as they could and get away from. And they did. And everyone cheered or everyone booed. And they're dealing with backlash no matter what decision they choose. My official stance on it is this, however. It's their fucking playground. They get to make the rules, they get to play. If you do not like it, there are a thousand other modding websites and forums and message boards where you can just good old fashioned go to Reddit and spread it around like candy. And if people love it enough, they'll get behind it. But for those out there trying to make it any more than it is, I wish you the best of luck. That seems like a fight that's just too much work for me. I don't know. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. If you enjoy hearing me ramble about God knows what and other things that happen to come up in the gaming world, as well as creative writing, live streaming, horror games, and everything else in between, give a like, give a subscribe, give a follow. In the meantime, I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge. If you need me for anything, you know exactly where to find me. I'll see you around, guys. And take it easy.